In this tutorial, I'm going over everybody's favorite, a zombie bite. Ooh, scary. Which clearly is pretty gross looking. Now this is gonna be the last of the vein bruise bite series, but I will be doing some other effects, which you guys can vote for what effect you guys wanna see next on the website, and I'll put that in the description below. For the entire application of the colorful part of the zombie wound, I am going to be using only one sponge. So just like in the previous tutorial, I'm just going to be taking out little chunks of the sponge to give us the vein capillary texture, and then also the background color of the wound itself. The more little tiny holes you have, the better off you're going to be with more of a capillary type of texture, but you want to get them more irregular where you have big and small holes. So your sponge will be looking a little bit something like this before you start, and this is just a regular cosmetic sponge like from Walgreens. To start off for the actual wound like bite part itself, I'm going to be starting using the Skin Illustrator Effects Palette, and that is the one with all of the colors in it. The bright colors, obviously they all have colors. So we're going to be keeping this wound nice and colorful, like the ones that you guys see online a lot. I'm going to be starting off with Prime Yellow and a lot of alcohol, and just creating an irregular shape on my Arm. Of course you guys can put this anywhere you want. You guys can put it on your face, you guys can put it on your neck, your leg. I'm then going to be going in with the green color and a lot of alcohol and concentrating it more where the bite is actually going to be. I'm sure by now you guys are probably like, uh-huh. Yeah, I see why you did the other tutorials. I'm then going back in with prime yellow and less alcohol and just blending that over this green section around the edge. I'm then spraying this entire area with alcohol and having almost no color on my sponge and just blending that out even more. After that, I'm going in with the color Bruce Tone and a lot of alcohol, and once again, concentrating more around where the bite is going to be. I'm then going back in with Bruce Tone and even less alcohol and adding some more texture around that area. From there, I'm then using Ultra Blue and a lot of alcohol and going in the center of the wound. I'm also bringing this blue color in throughout the rest of the wound just to give it a little bit more broken capillaries. I'm gonna leave that for a while and I'll go back into my Necromania palette, which you guys saw this in my vein tutorial. This palette has more cooler, dead sort of tones and it's very good for veins. To make a vein tone, I'm going to be mixing all of these colors together. I'm taking quite a bit of dead flesh, a smidgen of on ice, a little bit of gray matter. Since we are dead, we are going to become dead, people. We are not alive. Well, I guess we're half alive at this point. And because this is an unrealistic zombie wound, you really can get a little bit more colorful with the veins if you'd like. I'm just gonna draw on some veins stemming from the wound. I'm then using a mix of lividity as well as dead flesh to go in and make some smaller capillaries. For the actual bite wounds, I'm going to be going in with Mehron's Extra Flesh. Now you guys can absolutely just draw in the bite wounds, but I think it's a little bit cooler when you have them kind of risen up or sunk it in, you know, where the bite was taken out. When using Extra Flesh, you're going to want to make sure that you have skin prep on your fingers or makeup remover so it's not completely just sticking to you. So with some makeup remover on my fingers, I'm then going to be taking a little bit of Extra Flesh, rolling it, and just applying it to my wound. Once you have that applied, I'm then dipping a brush I do not care about in makeup remover and creating the actual teeth marks. I'm also knocking over my candles and starting a fake fire. Of course, you're also going to want to complete the other side of your bite wound as well. Once you have your bite wound where you want it, you can go ahead and seal it with Fixative A. Using my regular face powder, I'm then going to go ahead and powder this whole thing. Using the Skin Illustrator Effects Palette, I'm then going to be going over each hole using the Bruise Tone color and not a lot of alcohol at all. I'm also going in with a little bit of black from the Skin Illustrator Palette. I'm then coloring the outside of the bite wound using a mix of lividity and dead flesh. I'm also re-going back in there and using the color bruise tone. And also bringing a little bit more green and yellow in there as well. However 
gross you want to make it is totally up to you. You could always go back in with some more little darker capillaries. Using all techniques in all three videos, you guys can create a zombie of your own which can look like a dis.